Hi and welcome to A-Level Photography. The next few slides are going to be about the course itself and some work. So in a nutshell, AS Level is 100% coursework and it's one project that you do throughout the year. The second year of A-Level is another project that you choose yourself alongside your art teacher and you investigate through looking at the work of others, you do experimentation, you look at how other artists have worked and produce final pieces. Added on to that you have to do a written essay or an extended piece of writing where you look at an artist's work that's influenced you. This has to be between 1000 and 3000 words. In year 13, you will do a 15 hour exam that's spread over three days. You will be given a title, a booklet with lots of titles in it that you choose one of them from the exam board. You have to produce preparation work and then you do the exam under timed conditions. You get marks for your coursework and for your exam based on the assessment objectives. If you've done GCSE art, the assessment objectives are very similar. So you're looking at the work of others, you're experimenting with different materials and processes, you're working from observation, taking photographs, making notes, and you're producing final pieces. So here are some images of uh, work that's been produced by uh, students over the two year period that they've done both art and photography. And you can see examples um, of how work could possibly be displayed. We also like to uh, get out of uh, the classroom and uh, give you experiences of working um, in different environments. So going to galleries, we've used the Icon Gallery on a number of occasions. We go to London uh, where possible and to other local gal galleries like Walsall Gallery. And also we've used Warwick in the past as well. We think this is really important for you to see live work and how that can influence your work as well. In the past we've also encouraged artists and practitioners to come into school to share their skills and knowledge with students. This is John De Niro who some of you might have worked with, a portrait artist who uh, was originally a street pavement uh, artist and he's been to uh, Coles Hill School on a number of occasions. We feel sharing experiences like this is really important to your A-level. These are some examples of students' photography sketchbooks. They use them for their uh, photographs, for their um, ideas, for planning their photographs. You know, as part of the photography course, you'll learn how to use a camera. You will learn how to manipulate photographs using the software that we've got and also different printing uh, processes and ways of working. We're quite lucky at the moment because we do have a dedicated sixth form art studio for you to come in and work in your freeze. It's an ideal opportunity for you to develop and enhance your own skills and interests. The more you put into this, the more you are going to get out of it. So A-levels are hard. The photography A-level is quite demanding because it demands that you have to do an awful lot of outside of the classroom research by taking photographs and exploring the interests that you have. These are photographs of final pieces. When you're talking about a final piece, you're talking about a piece of work that brings together all the knowledge, all the understanding, all the experimentation that you have done over the course of the project. Here, 
this student has researched the history of her old house. She's got photographs of what it was like when it was first built back in the 1900s up to present day. She's photographed it onto something called decal paper, which is a film that you can then print off and put on two different surfaces. Here, she has put it onto a window with glass in it from the original old building. Again, more final pieces, some on large scale, some on small scale, using colour, using black and white, using manipulation. The idea of the final piece, remember, is to bring together all the ideas, all the techniques, and your selection of the ideas you've taken from other artists as well. Go. She can wait. Here is a list of some of the possible uh, options for you when you've completed your A-level course. We're always interested to know why students want to stay at Cold Hill School. Um, this is a list of some of the comments that uh, previous students have actually made about why they wish to stay here. Please feel free to come and talk to any of the member of the art department about either the photography course or the BTEC level three course. Uh, we'd be more than happy to go through um, the things, any questions with you. Thank you.